Yo guys, Mike Blacks again here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get a constant 60 FPS stream and over 100 FPS on a trash PC. Let's do it. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to need to download is this thing called Optifine. If you don't know what Optifine is, it's basically a mod that lets you have more settings in your video settings as you can see here so you can turn off like all this which you already can do but here's all the stuff that you can do with the mod that you can't do without it as you can see sky off moon on and all that stuff and if you turn it off like i get it i used to get only like 40 fps you know and now i get over 100 fps um as you can see we should always turn on smooth lighting if you want to if you have a bad system and you want to get high FPS and so yeah make sure you go to optifine.net because there is a scam website which almost got a virus on my PC um, if you just search up optifine so I put the link in this I put the link in the description and yeah so I already have it downloaded but if you were to download it um, for 1.12 for 2v2t as you can see here it's probably one of the most that's interesting. It's probably all the 2v2t players, right? So, when you're going to download it, don't click download. Click mirror, as I'm going to do here. Even though I already downloaded it. And when you click this, it doesn't take you to one of those fishy websites. Well, it does, but it doesn't, like, make you wait. As in Bitfly and stuff, I hate that stuff. But, as you can see, the Java file has downloaded here. And I'll show you what you guys need to do next. Alright guys, so the next thing you need to do is download this thing called Forge. If you don't know what it is, it's basically how you get mods onto Minecraft. Um, there's like no viruses or anything. Um, this has been a trusted website for years. Uh, many YouTubers use it to get the highest FPS, um, like to download Optifine. Um, but like they use it uh, for mods mainly. As you can see, like down to the end, used to do a whole mod series, like the only way you can really get mods is with forge so make sure you go into the right website as well i'll also put that in the description below but what you're going to have to do from here is download the launch i don't need to download it but i will download the 1.15 because i don't have that and yeah so it's going to make you wait here don't click on anything here if it says like whatever unless oh no this is actually made by forge so you can read it through but i'm not going to trust this anyway um yeah all right so as you can see forge has also downloaded it's it's not a harmful file by the way it's just saying that every file you download on the internet even a video like from your google drive everything says it's a harmful file but so don't be concerned that it has a virus or something. It's not really. It still says not secure up here, but it is secure. Ask anyone. Well, this is the website for like this. So if I just click keep, we're good. And I'll show you what you guys need to do next. Okay. As you can see here, we need to install the client. And we need to click install client and OK. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's finished installing and a message like this should pop up. Your screen won't go black, I just have my, I just have mine like that. Um, so it's just recording this one thing because I kind of don't want to show like any of my stuff on my PC. As you can see, so click OK. And yeah, wait. Alright guys, after you've done that, and I'm sorry I couldn't record that, for some reason OBS would not let me, search in your um, start bar, run, and this program should show up. It's a built-in Windows program, and it's very helpful sometimes. And type in, type in exactly what I'm typing in, alright? So, it's percent, app, data, D-A-T-A, 
then percent again. And when you finish writing that, click OK. And what it should do is take you into this folder. All right. So what you're going to have to do from here is look for Minecraft. All right. Look for dot Minecraft. It should be the last one if you have it on like a weird type of searching, but otherwise it shouldn't. And as you can see here, I got a heap of stuff here. All right. What you usually got to do if you haven't done this before is click create folder. I already have it, but you got to create a folder, right? And call it mods, as you can see here. And you need to do this so you can actually put the files, as you can see here, mods into the into Forge. And I already got schematic of to find whatever this is to help schematic and impact, which is a hacked client for 2B2T. And um, when you basically have created that folder, all you have to do now is is, is find that file for Optifine in your downloads, most likely. I will not be showing it here due to the fact it's just quicker. You go into downloads. I already have 1.12, so I don't need to do this, but I'll do it just right for you guys now. And drag in you don't you could download it however you want like you can actually click and open up optifine but i usually just drag it in to the folder like i'm about to do right now and i accidentally opened it oops all right and you can just drag it in here as you can see there's two of them one of them cs some reason um i don't know why but if this doesn't work just open up optifine and set it up with forge and I don't need this here anymore. And as you can see, so we got Optifine ready and everything. And yeah, I'll get into the game and show you what you have to do from there. Alright guys, so right now I'm going to reset my video settings just for you guys to showcase what you can do. Alright, alright. So as you can see, I've resetted my video settings and I'm only getting around about 46 to 50 FPS. Like... I, I just got a 60 FPS bike there, but you can get way better FPS with Optifine if I can show you. Also, go check out the server. I just found it recently. Um, well, yeah, it's a pretty good server. It's a small community and what? Oh, I didn't mean to claim it. Whatever. Who cares? So what we're going to have to do. So what we're going to have to start off with is, okay. so what you guys are going to have to do is go into video settings. And as you can see, there's a lot more video se settings uh, options. And the first thing we're going to start off to do is make, no. And the first thing we're going to do is make this fast. I know it may make the game look pretty bad, but this is a big, a big step. You should always do this. And the second thing we're going to do is put this on off. I know this also makes the game not look good. But this way the game can actually render more easily. And yeah, you see I'm getting already about 10 more FPS better. Oh, I'm getting like 60, 64, whatever. Right? But it's just dropping a lot. And we can get way higher FPS than that. So the next thing we're going to do is change the render distance to tiny. You don't have to do this if you're playing on servers. I do because usually I'm pretty far out on 2B2T. But this is a big effect on my FPS. As you can see, I'm getting around about 76. Before I was only getting about 40. And so this is really useful for me. I usually on 2B2T sometimes if I'm like looking for the highway or like a little thing. I usually just put this on 9 because that's actually the... um. 2B2T render distance, but it does drop my FPS a bit. I generally have it on tiny. And next thing we're going to have to do is turn off all the animations. Never ever have this on all. Always have this on minimal and turn this off. But there is a glitch that I found out. Um, some reason, if you have it off sometimes, it won't let you join worlds or anything. So if it won't let you join, usually what you have to do is go into animations and turn it all back on. And then when you're in, turn it off. It can give you pretty high FPS. And yeah. So the next thing you're going to have to do is change the quality. 
So this is default, I'm pretty sure, right now. So we're going to have to turn off pretty much everything, except for um, some of this stuff, like, probably shouldn't turn off. Um, I don't know why this freezes my game. Alright, sorry guys, um, I don't know what just happened. But anyway, so now what we're going to have to do, so we're going to turn off... Alright guys, so I accidentally turned, on, turned off this. I don't think this makes a difference, but don't turn that off. Um, alright, make sure everything is on fast. I don't know what the hell this is, but I'm pretty sure I put this on fast and gave me like 5 more FPS. But, um, yeah, let's just wait. Alright, um, so, yeah, I get like, uh, like 5 more FPS as you can see some t for some reason. And, um, I usually don't know what mip map levels are, so... I, I'm going to put it on one. I've never needed to do anything with this, but you guys don't have to. Um, all this stuff is making my game, like, freeze because it's changing a lot. Um, we just got to wait a bit, and, um, yeah. Alright, so guys, it's off. I don't know what that just did, but I'm only getting, like, 10 FPS. Uh, okay, game's not responding, and I just did something. <laughs> Alright, GUI is on small. I accidentally mean, didn't mean to do that. So, probably don't, um, I don't even know what the hell this is, so don't probably touch that. And the next thing we're going to have to do is go into performance. Um, if you have, like, an i5 or anything, turn on smooth FPS. I don't have it on. Because it drops my FPS to like 60, even though I only got a 60 hertz monitor. I kind of like getting like 80 to whatever um, FPS, but yeah. And um, lazy chunk loading, I've seen some people turn this on, but it generally it just makes my game a bit slower, like the FPS a bit slower and I'm um, not as good. And yeah, so now we're going to go into details. This is pretty important. Put clouds on fast. Or off or whatever yeah put clouds on off it will should give you a little bit FPS boost put trees on fast I do not know what this actually I think this can affect something but not the FPS and I don't usually turn that on to I just keep it on default and turn sky off um, Sun and moon off frog fast or whatever off and um stars off you know all this typical a lot of this stuff off and i'm getting already about 80 fps all right and there's some more stuff we have to go into all right guys so the next thing we're gonna have to go into is put it on don't put it on full screen i know this may be a big sacrifice what the hell hockey sorry I know this may be a big sacrifice for you, but I usually put it on non-full screen when I'm streaming. Right now I have it off. When I'm playing by myself, sometimes I can get around about 80 FPS, you know, if I'm just wanting to do that, right? No, I Sometimes I can gra get around 80 FPS if I have it on full screen, but if you want to get the highest of the highest, put it, turn off full screen and yeah. Um, I noticed some stuff I'm missing, um, let's see, put brightness on full bright, um, this really helps you, it also sometimes gives you FPS boosts, not that much, but yeah, um, I know I'm forgetting something, I can't exactly remember what, um, cause my FPS isn't exactly 100 right now, it's probably because I'm recording, but you guys should be getting a hundred over over a hundred FPS, maybe even two hundred, if you have a trash PC. As you can see, my PC is a Intel i3 4 401 U, so underpowered, um, one point seven gigahertz uh, processor with a Nvidia Corporation GT seven forty M, which is a laptop. Um, graphics card from 2013 to 2012 and I'm actually getting over 80 to 100 FPS over 100 usually if I'm not recording 
and yeah so now guys i'm gonna get it into the obs settings okay guys so as you can see here i'm in my obs and what we're gonna have to do is click on settings and something like this should show up so what we're gonna have to do first is go into output settings and this is copy my exact settings as you can see i have it on hardware not software there's something i can't really explain it but if you have it on software on a trash pc um you need at least an i7 to stream at least like at 40 fps or something but um with hardware you can stream probably if you have like an i7 over 100 fps and put this on 3000 kbps this will help a lot a really a lot do not put it over this number or under it just is this exact number it's perfect for bad pcs you can probably even get a 30 fps stream on a dual core keep this on simple as you can see all right so the next thing you guys are gonna have to do is change this all to 720p whatever landscape or whatever 60 fps do not go under it because you know if you if you want the highest FPS, 60 is pretty much your maximum. Um, right now, I'm getting a constant 60 streaming. Um, it's kind of useless not streaming. Yeah, actually streaming. It's kind of useless to go over this number because YouTube is locked on to 60 FPS. Um, if you really want to, I guess you could if you have like another streaming service. But if you can actually change this. Um, you see 60 fps and so the next thing we're gonna have to change here is in advance make it direct x 11 or 12 even if you really want to but usually that's for more higher end pcs put it on above normal for pro superiority render direct so yeah as i said that color format and v12 color space 7029 um, color range part or whatever this is don't put it on full unless you actually got like your I don't know most of your viewers are watching like I don't know whatever um, I do not know recording doesn't matter um, stream delay I would have this on one second I don't think zero is good but one second is good and yeah so that's all for the OBS settings and um, yeah guys so, when you actually go streaming on YouTube, though, make sure you have it on ultra low latency. Some reason that also helped me very much uh, get a general 60 FPS, you know, um, stream. And, you know, it also helps my FPS in game somehow. But, yeah, guys, that's my video today. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more daily 2P2T content or videos like this. Um, you can request anything like about my setup any like request anything in the comment on how i do some stuff um and i will reply to it and i might make a video if it's a good enough question and um hopefully yeah i'll see you guys in the next video or stream and yeah see ya